Now, guys, being very honest and, and matter of fact with all of you, um, I you know I put a post up, I put a tweet up on Twitter last night. Very heartfelt, of course. Hundreds of asshole scumbags harassing me for it because they're all dumb fucks who don't even understand what the hell I'm going through. Um, insulting me for being honest with you. The bottom line is right now I am in the worst financial situation I've ever been in. It sucks. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have to even tell you about this. But I'm in a situation where basically I don't get any income from any of my sources of income for 10 days. And I have bills that need to clear and pay in the next 10 days. If they don't, now I'm behind on everything. Maybe some of them will clear with the bank. Maybe some won't. Um, you know, we're talking essential bills like the internet bill, stuff like that. This sucks. I don't like this. I don't want to be like this. It's shit going on behind the scenes that I can't discuss with all of you. It just really blows. I'm hoping that I can actually level out in the next month or two and make it better. But right now, I'm shot. All right? So tonight, if you guys could tip me to help out, if you like the content and you support me and you like everything I've done over the years and you want to see me keep going and you don't want to have me, you know, hearing about these fucking stories that I don't want to tell you about, um, please tip me tonight. All right? vacation soon stuff like that <laughs> it's a thing but uh, I saw something actually pretty interesting that I didn't feel need to wait on despite the fact that at the time I'm recording this I am still late but either which way so Mr. Huffstuff video and uh, it is dark side Phil I need your money for real this time now I haven't been keeping up on everything that's been going on over the last like 10 days I've been kind of in and out so I will try to kind of bring myself up to speed as best as possible. So Phil has the Amazon wishlist thing going on. He ended up getting the new controller and then I guess that's bugged or whatever the situation is with that. Whatever the case may be, he was bitching about it not working. Then like the next day or two days later, it ended up working. Whatever. So now he's saying that the detractors made all that up or really Mighty D because he was the one who had the video up first. Shouts out to Mighty D. Um, now, what else is going on? Uh, at, 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 at the time that I'm currently recording this, he's playing Dragon Quest, uh, Dragon Quest Builder, I guess, or Builders, but he didn't actually play it day one, like he said he was going to, because he said he didn't have the money, and he was giving some type of sob story about, for the first time in 11 years, he couldn't, he didn't have the money to get a game, whatever. I guess uh, some of that will be in this video here. Uh, also, um, I don't know. There's a bunch of discrepancies, to be honest. Let's just go ahead and get into the video. We'll see what we can make out of this. But there's a bunch of discrepancies. Because if I'm not completely out of the loop, but hasn't someone been donating game credit? Or a group of people, I should say. Haven't they been donating d game credits to him since he opened up the Amazon wishlist? So, how could he not have enough money for this PS4 game? More importantly than that, it also leads me to surmise that the reason why he didn't play the game day one is because he was waiting for influencers and, re and reviewers to tell him what the score was. Uh, or how good the game is, I should say. Which is kind of stupid because now he's lo he lost points on day one. Points meaning he lost money. Um, just throwing that out there. <laughs> so, he lost points on that. On top of it... Uh, if he is going to go down this avenue of, oh, I want to see what other people think before I play a game, so on and so forth, 
given the fact that he just he just uh, wage quit. I think that's what they're calling it. Not rage quit, but wage quit. Um, what, Sunken City? He ended up completely giving up on that. He's more than likely not going to go back to it. Uh, or at least not until someone's willing to pay him a large amount of money to do so. So now that that game is gone and over, uh, at least for the time being, I guess he's in this paranoia that he has to be careful about every little game that he decides to play from here on out. Um, which is funny because didn't he used to shit on those people who used to get review copies and who used to put out reviews too quickly and so on and so forth? Now he's become basically codependent on them. All right, whatever. And then Phil needs money um, for real this time. To be honest with you, Phil, it really just comes down to the fact that the fan base is smart enough and realize that you're basically an endless pit and you're never going to you're never going to learn from your mistakes. Uh, if he really needed the money this bad, ladies and gentlemen, why is he taking any days off? And don't give me that bullshit about, oh, he needs to spend a day with his wife. Fuck all that. He has all day to do that, basically. To be honest, because two days out of the week, she's off. So maybe those two days, or maybe one of those days, I should say, he just doesn't do a night stream. Matter of fact, how about both of those days he doesn't do a night stream? He used to do that with Panda every once in a while. Uh, so that's an option. And, and so that's not an excuse. So what, el what else is it? What is he doing to actually curve his spending? And so on and so forth. Because the last time I checked, the last time I reported on anything, uh, on their days off, they still went out to breakfast to whatever spot they chose. And basically, they ate out breakfast, lunch, and dinner that day. So it doesn't look like he's curving his spending at all. Who knows what they're also window shopping for on a week-to-week -week basis either. It sounds to me like he's at his uh, wit's end and wants to keep what's left of this lifestyle or the simulants of this lifestyle and give me your money and shut the hell up and don't ask me any more questions. But that's just a guess. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to this. Um, I have uh, some videos already recorded that will go over the Amazon wishlist saga as well as uh, another video on Etika. And then by the time those videos all come out and they're all done and over with, I should be back in the mix the next week, if not the week after. Um, but we'll see. It, de uh, it depends. The gout has become too strong. <laughs> not really. But uh, I do kind of need, need some time away from the shit. Anyway. Anyway. Well, kind of, sort of. I don't know. I'm, I'm working on some other shit. But uh, yeah. So that's what the situation is, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this will be fun. Hopefully it'll be uh, informative, but to be honest with you, it's really just the same old song and dance. That's what I should have had. I should have had Eminem's song, and, uh, same old song and dance playing. But uh, whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in just a minute. So uh, yeah. <laughs> talking about this recently and i guess a lot of people you know i don't know if they just thought that i was kidding i don't know but <laughs> that's a great way to start a video i didn't know if they thought i was kidding i, I don't know ladies and gentlemen we're here at one of our favorites mr huff stuffs dark side phil i need your money for real this time <laughs> oh oh uh, i will give my my opinions as the video goes on but this is definitely a same old song and dance type thing uh, all right, Phil, amuse me. Amuse me. Well, amuse us, I should say. Essentially, right now, I'm in the worst financial situation I've ever been in in my entire life. Um, things are incredibly tight to the point where some bills, you know, aren't getting paid and bouncing to the point where I have to wait for another payment to come in from Twitch to pay them and stuff. You know, my bank account's been overdrawn a million times. I'm not exaggerating. Like, it's just crazy. Um, um, it so first things first, we've heard this last year, too. And we heard it the year before that. So, I don't know. He just kind of keeps pushing the the, the goalpost back further and further and further. 
uh, as it pertains to that situation. That's the first thing. Second thing is, I'm surprised someone from the bank hasn't actually contacted him yet uh, if he really has as many overdrafts as he says he does. So that's a thing. Um, now, there's a theory that has been put out by some of you in this comment section, to be honest, that when he talks about an overdraft, he's actually talking about his Twitch payment, uh, well, his payment from Twitch. And the moment it comes into his account, instead of waiting, I don't know, a two or three day grace period, because he's, he's mentioned that before, he pulls it out right away. And because of that, they slap him with a fee every time he does it, which kind of makes sense except for the fact that they could just permit him not to take it, to be honest. But if not, if they would rather slap him with the fee instead, then that's on his dumbass fault for that. And if that is the case, for example, it's a, it's a good hypothesis. Why is it that he, why is it that he needs to pull the money out right away? What is he afraid of being charged back on him that he doesn't want to, that he wouldn't want to let the money sit there for three days? It's only three days. On top of that, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about an individual who's making anywhere between seven and $10,000 uh, respectfully each pay period if you will so you're telling me that you can't you're not you're having a harder time now than you did back then juggling two mortgages and a, a car payment or maybe even possibly two car payments and then given whatever else that cat is going ahead and putting her money towards because cat is contributing to the household at least that's what he said He's con she's contributing a very large part of her check, to be honest with you. Matter of fact, she did it twice because at first they had a set amount. And then as Phil was supposedly stressed out and it was wearing down on him, she came back to him and said, hey, I'd like to contribute a little more. He said, well, wait, 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 you've already, you're already giving me so much, so on and so forth. And she's like, yeah, but I love our life here and this, that, and the third. And, <laughs> and uh, I want to, I want to preserve it as best as possible. So even on top of all of her alleged sacrifices, he still can't make the bills every 30 days. Uh-huh. And where is Cap, by the way? Like I said, I've, I've held to the theory, and I still do, um, that she might be pregnant. Key word is might be. And we haven't seen her in a while, and she was looking kind of, she looked kind of, I would, I'll be generous to say she might have been glowing a little bit when we saw her in those wedding pictures, outside of the fact that that was her wedding. So, what's her circumstance? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. A whole lot of this sounds fishy, but just to reestablish my point, this isn't the first time. This isn't our first. Uh, this isn't our first wild pig hunt, and it won't be our last. We will, we will be eating uh, pork ribs at the end of the night. Just, I guarantee you that. Let's continue. It sucks because I don't want to be in that position. You know, I want to be at a better financial position where. I don't have to worry about inconsistency and this kind of shit, but I've just been in this position for a long time. Now, three three straight months, basically. Um, the good news is that the, this month in particular, this last month has been great on stream. I can tell you in particular, not only has attendance gone up on my streams in general, but you guys have been, you know, very generous. Contributions have been up. Profit has been up. Everything's good. So if we can keep on that trend... You know, potentially we're talking the next couple of months over the summer, then we might actually see a light at the end of this tunnel, you know. But for now, sadly, I'm in a situation where, you know, this is just my reality is I'm stuck in this kind of a rut. Um, now, let me cut in. So first thing is, is that he hasn't been in this situation for the last couple of months. He's been here since the beginning of the year, arguably last year really like i said this is just the the overdrafts have been this year's theme if you will the year of the golden pig so the overdraft thing isn't necessarily a new thing and it hasn't been just a couple months the next point i'd like to make is as it pertains to oh if you guys can just keep with the attendance and this that and the third because all of that's been very good well i don't know the last couple streams that i was able to uh to catch in amongst the, the big three which is tevin theo sorry tevin LSB and Dark Dave Mirrors, uh, their views have been going up, but Phil has been somewhere between the 400 to like 250, between 250 and about 400. That ain't looking very good. Hence the reason why Sunken City is no longer there anymore. Or Sinking City. One of the two. I think it's Sunken City. Could be Sinking. Whatever. You know what I mean? That, since that right there got kicked off, and that, and he was upset about 
uh, what was that uh, that game he was playing? Oh, Stranger Things 3. He was mad that people weren't coming out and supporting the game. I mean, they weren't coming out and giving uh, the game uh, a fair chance, a fair shake. He knew, he understood that it wasn't a $60 AAA release, but he enjoys the game and people should come out and support it. And apparently they didn't. I remember watching a few of those streams, to be honest with you. Not him directly, because that's that's dangerous. <clears throat> even even my tolerance to gout isn't that high. But uh, I've been watching some restreams, and he was only pulling 250, 260, maybe 300. And even then, that fluctuated. So that's a thing. So where is this large influx of viewership, to be honest? And I, now, is he talking about the, the, the first stream or the second stream? let's go ahead and try to give him a little bit of piggy wiggle room. Let's go ahead and lather him with a little bit of grease, if we will. If you will. And they're both about the same. If anything else, the night stream might be thriving a little bit better than the morning stream. Or the earlier one. Whatever. So, the attendance isn't a thing either. Not really. But that's just my opinion, of course. Third point. As it pertains to, hey guys, if we can just keep this up for the next couple months, I'll be in the clear. No, he won't. Because we'll be in the fall in the next couple of months. And then, as you know, we start getting into the holiday season and so on and so forth. Why won't Phil, Phil, why won't you just be honest and tell him that you're going to need them to carry your pig butt kicking and screaming all the way till the end of the year? And establish the reality that you're going to need them to carry you through the 2020 year. I mean, Jesus Christ, Phil, not to be blunt. Actually, I do mean to be blunt. You're going to have them carry you till your parents die. That's pretty much what the that's pretty much what the situation is going to be. So going ahead and I understand why he's doing it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not completely. <laughs> I'm not being a complete asshole about it. I understand that if he breaks it up into increments or if he breaks them up into quarters, then it lightens the load and it doesn't uh, it doesn't discourage them from what the long haul is. Just in case Phil, you don't know that that is what you're doing. Uh, the thing is, is that those who have been there for a little while should know that they should have a clear understanding of that's what the long con is going to be. You break it up and make it seem like it's actually shorter than what it is. But certainly as the year goes on, your expenses and everything are going to get, are going to increase, which in turn, you're going to need more income to supplement it. So there's no way that they can, you guys can give him the same amount of money. Those who contribute to Phil, I mean, there's no way you guys can give him the same amount of money now that you're going to give him in September or October and think that's going to be okay. He's barely making it now. He's it's, it's going to be even harder for him two, three, or four months down the line. Just throwing that out there. And, you know, in general, I tried a few things this last couple of weeks to try to help with the issue. You know, I started an Amazon wish list on which I put a bunch of stuff where people could purchase either credits on the various gaming networks like PlayStation Store, Xbox Live Store, or Nintendo Shop, uh, as well as, you know, uh, uh, controllers and games and the like. Um, you know, to various effect, I would say it actually has been positive because there were two people who bought me uh, $10 credits uh, on PlayStation Network, and, and uh, one person, Crazy Dream, bought me a, a controller for the Switch, which immediately was a positive benefit for the streams, because I was able to beat a tough-ass Mario stage in Mario Maker 2 that previously I could not beat on the on the Nintendo Pro Controller, because the D-pad on that thing is a piece of garbage, but I beat it within 20, 25 minutes on this other controller, this hoary gamepad that he had purchased for me, okay? So in essence, alright, in essence, um... The, the wish list has been a success, but sadly it didn't really work out well enough to the point where uh, I was able to afford today's new release. Um, it sucks. Now let me cut in again. So, a few problems that I have with this. One, let me, as I'm sure it's been stated by someone up till now, but let's go ahead and, and dissect this whole Amazon wish list thing, shall we? Um, and, and I want you guys to draw upon your experiences of Phil's nature, okay? I, I, I need you to kind of do, I need you to dig deep for me, okay? I need you to dig deep for me when <laughs> when we go ahead and hit this next point. Okay, so Phil, uh, going through this Amazon wish list and so on and so forth, uh, I think none of us here are delusional on what comes next, to be honest. He said, and as he's kind of saying now, that it's established for game credit, uh, 
for those who just want to buy the game for him outright, and they can send him the digital code, or for peripherals, controllers, cables, wires, so on and so forth. That laptop, which I've been joking about for a while now, is going to will eventually pop up on that list. I personally think that the new consoles will eventually come up on that list. New controllers for those new consoles, as well as the new games for those new consoles, even though that's a year from now, 2020, well, six, five or six months, really. But you know what I mean. Next year, later on next year even, um, that's going to be a thing. So the a new laptop eventually... The new consoles, almost a guarantee, being that someone bought him a replacement Switch, someone bought him a PS4 Pro, okay? These are things that happened, allegedly, at least with the PS4 Pro, because um, that in the TV is shifty, uh, to be honest. I don't know if I ever went over that. I may have not, but I still can, because it's still relevant. But, um, so those are things, for sure. Now, here's where things get really, really shifty, and this is me thinking in the long term, downrange, if you will. Because I have the first piglet in my sights. Uh, I want you guys to understand that this is the individual who cried and complained 10 plus years after the fact about a Wolverine figure that he didn't get when he was 15 years old. He is the same type of person who, around the holiday season, goes into his piggy spiel about, oh, you know, money's really tight right now and I really want to... I'm spending. I'm trying to save up enough money throughout the year to pay my taxes and to cover up all these bills. And then I want to get cat something nice to set in the third. So there's not really a, a lot left for me, guys. So on and so forth. You guys kind of you smell what I'm. You smell the bacon that I'm cooking. Eventually, it's going to be. Hey guys, I'm just going to put some random stuff on my list. And if you guys are feeling generous, you guys could you know get this for me for Christmas, which will happen. Excuse me. It will. It will certainly happen. Because Phil, yet again, is still in this really immature mindset about, you know, hey, I deserve nice things too. I deserve good credit. I deserve to live the lifestyle of PewDiePie and some of these other more successful people, despite the fact that I didn't save, I didn't plan ahead, and I wasn't willing to work hard. That's what this Amazon wish list is going to represent. Because, because Phil is someone who values materialistic shit. For example... And Tevin points this out quite a bit, that he could play a lot of the old games that that are out there right now, readily available, but he won't. He always waits for the remastered version. Why? Because Phil wants something new. He wants something more modern. He does. Yes, he. I'm sure even he knows that he could go back and play the older stuff, but he won't. He'll do it this way because it's easier. Second, as it pertains to the Amazon wish list, just like his donations on stream, whether tips or people just donating directly to him at darksidephil at hotmail.com. We don't know who's donating to him behind the scenes like that. Who isn't coming on stream and saying, hey, Phil, I purchased this. Did you get it yet? Or I have confirmation for it. It's on the way. There's not a whole lot of people doing that. So that makes me think that a lot of those credits are coming from behind the scenes, which means he's hoarding game credits so he has all the new releases that he wants to play leading to the end of the year, if I had to guess. I'm not saying he has it right now. I'm saying that's what the plan is. On top of that, with that whole Stranger Things uh, Stranger Things 3 situation, he, I wouldn't be surprised if he plays more $20 games throughout the year, uh, maybe even leading into 2020. Why not? Especially if it's a game that he really enjoys. I mean, the, the rest of the stream chat will be damned. Whether, you know, they like it or not, it's whether he likes it or not. And he'll probably sprinkle that in just to just for variety's sake. But given what I've seen of Dragon Quest Builders, that's the new Minecraft, to be honest. And given how he ain't screwed the pooch on that Minecraft situation, uh, that Minecraft stream, what, sometime earlier in the week, I think? That... Yeah, I'm sure he's pretty discouraged as it pertains to that. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so that's my thoughts as it pertains to the Amazon wish list, so on and so forth. Now, the next thing, and I kind of already touched on it just a minute ago, but what's the... People need to check him a little more when it comes to the donations he's getting behind the scenes. Things aren't that bad. And the reason why I say that is when Tevin brought up the whole situation with, hey, look at this $1,100. I don't think I ever went over that video. I will. But um, when Tevin brought up the whole thing about the $1,100 and how you can see it on Streamlabs, and then all of a sudden that shit went away, 
You're telling me that's still not a practice going on right now? So how broke yet again is he? And we all know that he's not going to disclose any of this. But then, isn't there? Doesn't he have this new situation going on where, uh, give me large amounts of money, and then I'll tell you more about my personal, uh, uh, sorry, and then I'll tell you guys more about my personal stuff. Hold on a second. Uh, okay, here we go. Mr. Snorpernell actually did a video on it called "No More Sinking City." Pay me to know. Pay me to know private things. Okay, so there we go. So now we're trying to monetize that. And yet you're telling me that he can't, he doesn't have the resources needed to play the new games? Really? Hmm. Okay. This is the first time in uh, 11 years, right? That I, There was a new release that I actively want to play and cover, and I can't really do it. I thought I was going to be able to, but you know, without giving you guys too many ridiculous details that you don't need to freaking know, um... You know, behind the scenes, you know, I, any any funds that I brought in in the past week or so that would have normally gone towards the cost of a game basically just had to clear bills, all right? And I tr really tried to pinch pennies and make ends meet, <clears throat> and it just didn't happen. It didn't come together. Um, it sucks, you know? And Wait, I was, didn't, uh, actually, I think I saw this on Twitter. Didn't someone say something about he was going, that he went out and tried some fast food recently, too? Which is supposed to be a no-no, ladies and gentlemen. He doesn't eat fast food like that, uh, so on and so forth. But he had the funds to do that, but he didn't have the funds to buy a new release that he wanted to play that has a lot of attention on it and he needs for his business. Hmm. Okay. I, I, it's a horrible feeling because I know you guys wanted to see Dragon Quest Builders 2 today. I wanted to see Dragon Quest Builders 2 today, you know. And it's just a shitty situation where, you know, it didn't come together. I didn't I didn't get enough credit on PlayStation Network or anywhere to buy the game. Um, no one gifted it. And by the way, by no means am I saying that this is anyone's fault but mine. You know, it is absolutely my fault that I'm in the situation I'm in. Um, and um, was... Then why did you bring up that no, that you didn't have enough credit for it, which obviously doesn't sound truthful at all, and no one donated it to you? I mean, we're you are eliminating each one of those variables to be more to let people know that if people really wanted this, if you guys really wanted to see me play it, you guys would have came through on these two avenues to make that happen, and neither one of you did. But then you immediately backtrack and whatnot. You basically go over your own hooves to be like, oh, it's not like any of you guys are obligated to do it though. This, that, and third. I just want to throw it out there. Well, what do you think that makes those people feel? The ones who did contribute. And what happened to the people who did probably give 20, if not $50 credit, uh, sorry, PSN credit cards, uh, game credit, sorry. And they're like, well, Phil, what'd you do with the, the thing that I gave you? Where is that at? Uh, see, there you go. And see, this goes back to, by the way, to that situation with, I, I, call, I like to call him Liquid Phil. This was the, uh, that was the individual who, <laughs> uh, during email gate, when basically he was like, hey, I'll give, I'll donate you $9,000 if you're transparent and tell your stream that you have this nine grand. Remember, Phil needed that 9,000 for his taxes. Phil said, okay, I very much want the, I need the 9,000, man. I really do. I really do. I need it to pay my bills. But, um, uh, one, don't send it to me till the beginning of the year. Cause I think that came out in what? Late October, early no, late November, early December, I think is when that all happened. My timeline might be a bit messed up. Um, but I know it was definitely towards the end of the year. And he's like, so don't send it to me till the beginning of the year. And I won't, and I will tell them. I just won't tell them until, I think he said like mid, like mid February, I think is when Phil wanted to tell him about that. So he was, Phil was basically trying to drag out his begging for about two straight months while he's sitting on this $9,000, right? Uh, he wanted to, to set the circumstance like that. So one, he didn't have to pay the 9,000 on the 2018 taxes, which doesn't make much sense either which way because he didn't pay any taxes in 2018 anyway because he admitted that to us. So I guess that's irrelevant either which way. And he did. He was. He said he was okay with telling them that he got the money, but he didn't want to do it until like mid February, so he could use the early part of the year. Well, the last bit of the end of, of the end of 2018 and the early month 
or maybe even like three weeks of 2019 to try to rack up as much as he could to add it with the 9,000. So based off that, and this was all emails, it was all over Twitch and, and um, Kiwi Farms, so you can find this stuff. You're telling me that he pull, he was willing to pull that bullshit off, but he wouldn't try to jip these people out of game credits? And you're telling me that he wouldn't use the sob story of, oh, I couldn't play the new release and it's the first time in, in 11 years and this, that, and a third to continue to drum up sympathy? You're telling me that's not a thing? And to be honest with you, given that uh, Sinking City didn't do well, he's probably going to be wary of brand new games from the rip anyway. So this all played into his hands. So now he can he can fall back on the fact that, oh, I didn't have the money for this because you guys didn't contribute, but at the same time, I can't afford any more duds right now because my business is suffering. You're telling me that's not the mindset that he has? You're telling me he's not going to pig explain that in a couple of days or over the weekend? Hmm. Okay. No obligation of anyone ever to ever give anything on my streams or whatever. I don't want anyone to feel like, man, this is because no one gifted stuff. That's not the case. It's because of my failures that I'm in this situation. All right. I wholeheartedly take responsibility for this. It's no one else's fault but mine. Um. um it, okay. So what about Phil in 2018 when you sat there and went to South Galtopia? being YouTube and did on two separate occasions told them that they needed to step up and they were taking you for granted and if they wanted to have uh, videos on demand they would need to step up and help contribute if not it would all have to go away because you are in now a full time interactive streamer and, even, and YouTube is really just an archive and you were only doing it because YouTube is where you got your start and you had fans there that couldn't for whatever reason cross over to Twitch or maybe they just they just didn't want to. What about that? Oh, after that scheme failed, now all of a sudden you're going to try to take some responsibility, which would be admirable if you actually meant it. But since you still went ahead and put the you, you put the slap out there that, hey, if you guys had actually given me enough credit or if one of you would have just bought me the goddamn game, I wouldn't be in this situation. So now Phil's 11 plus year streak is over with. Hmm, okay. Sucks, but in life, this is a, a, a life lesson for everybody. You got to live with the consequences of your actions. And I'm in a situation now where I am very much living with the consequences of my actions in a shitty negative way. Um, um, how do you mean, what do you mean that this is a life lesson for everybody? You can watch any detractor video and get that. But how is this a life lesson for everybody when you yourself, sir, has spent the last 11 plus years saying, or 11 years, saying that it's not my fault, I didn't do anything wrong, it's everybody else, it's these brain dead kids, it's these detractors, it's these trolls and haters, I don't call them that anymore, I call them critics now, or I'm trying to anyway, it's all these critics and everything that hate on me and screw up all my sponsorships and this, that, and the third, and I was just trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? I was just stealing Howard Howard uh, Stern jokes, and I was just trying to I was just trying to lighten the mood. Hey, you remember the excuse you used for Dead Space Two about how all these kids were running to you and being like, "Phil, the game is so scary, this, that, and a third. But when you talk about killing Jews and them burning in ovens and whatnot, it made me feel a little bit better. It made me fall asleep easier. You remember when you said that, right, Phil? Th those games are way too scary, and you go ahead and used your Nazi killing jokes to go ahead and uh, your Nazi Jewish killing jokes to lighten up the mood. You remember how that wasn't anybody's? It wasn't your fault. It was the idiots who reported you the blip. You remember that, right, Phil? I remember that. I'm sure plenty of other people do too. But that wasn't your fault either, though, right? It was the it was the haters' fault. It was the critics. It was the trolls. It was the critics for doing all that shit. But now all of a sudden, we want to go ahead and take some responsibility because you couldn't play one fucking game, and this is what it brings you down to. For shame, Phil. For shame. Are you going to turn around and tell me that that fourth place finish at EVO really never meant the damn and you only held on to it because it's the only thing that you ever had? Are you going to finally admit that? I hope so. I hope so. I hope I'm on YouTube long enough for that to happen. You know, and it is what it is. Uh, I have to live with it. The good news is, it's not like this means that we can't do stuff. I've got a ridiculous amount of fun stuff that we can still play. It just sucks that right now, today, on release day... Like what? I like... Blackout's not till the is not till the night stream. Minecraft, you ain't kind of screwed yourself on that, so I don't even know how eager you're going to be to jump back on that one. There is MLB, but Jesus Christ, that's not even a baseball game anymore. You've turned that into just a simulator. 
and it's not even a good one. And what else do you have, sir? Sinking City is gone. So what else are you playing? That's worth a damn, to be honest. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Phil, it looks like the early stream or the first stream is going to turn into just another chill stream like the night one. You might as well just play Call of Duty all day as far as, our, as, far as I'm concerned, to be honest, honest with you. I mean, you're used to putting out shit content anyway, so you might as well camp in the bathroom for a win. Can't play Dragon Quest Builders 2. And by the way, this also doesn't mean I'm not playing the game at all. It just means that I just can't play it today. You know, depending on how today's streams go, um, maybe I can raise enough to actually afford the game, in which case I can buy it and start playing it tomorrow, right? I mean, it very well may happen. I don't know. We're going to see together uh, what happens today. Okay, so it's possible that, that we may get a positive out of this and maybe I can I can play it tomorrow. I don't know, but uh, it is what it is. You know, this is life right now for me and it sucks because, you know, it's a shit. Like I said, it's a shitty situation where I want to be able to provide new release content for all of you. And I'm in a, a part of my life where I can't even guarantee that. Again, I think some people kind of don't believe me and they think that I'm constantly lying. Like they think I'm made of money or something and that. All this time I've been telling you for the past few months that, you know, I don't have money and, you know, this is a bad situation for me and people think I'm lying or something, you know. Uh, I'm not, you know, this is me being very honest and, and forthright with you. I'm trying, to I'm trying to basically prepare you guys for a day like today, you know, because keep in mind, for 11 years, um, this has never really happened and now it has. And it may happen more in the future. You know, just for example, some of the big re new releases coming out this month, we've got Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. Oh, well, we know you're going to get that no matter what. Now, a week from today, that's a playthrough I absolutely want to do, but I need to be able to afford the game. Um, and I even got people lined up to do co-op with me on the Switch in that one, but I need to afford the game. Um, and then we've got... So if you, if, you, if you already have people that are lined up to do co-op, why don't each one of them kick up 10, 15 bucks to help you get the game. It's obvious that they're already committed to buying it, and if they really want to watch you play it, and they want to play it with you, then why won't they kick up the money for it? It's funny, Phil, because you have all these supporters and all these fans who love you and your content, but yet, no one's willing to crack open their wallet to help you out. I don't know, Phil. It just seems disingenuous. I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Wolfenstein Youngblood the week after. That one's a cheap one. I think that one's only like 20 or 30 bucks. So that one might not be too much of a problem. Um, so the... you basically need people to fund the $60 games from here on out. But the $20 games and $30 games and possibly 40 are no big deal. Isn't it, isn't it reasonable, Phil, that maybe the $20, $30, and $40 games should be put on the back burner for, I don't know, those dead, those, uh, let's reword that a little bit. Um, For those slower gaming uh, spots that happen every once in a while and maybe you should just focus on getting as much money as possible for the new game releases wouldn't that be a thing matter of fact are any of those things on his Amazon wish list at all is that not a thing was was dragon builders on his Amazon wish list what's the point of having a wish list to get things that you need if you're not going to put them on the list hmm. the, the viewers choice playthrough coming up which, by the way, I'm going to have a major update for you guys within a day. I've closed the poll for the Viewer's Choice playthrough. Because at this point, I think all appropriate votes are in. And I'm just Okay, waiting. we'll use that snort as our break. First things first. As it pertains to the new releases and so on and so forth, that sounds like complete and utter pig shit to me. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you. He's, he's definitely hoarding money for sure. But he's definitely trying to hoard credits now, too. He wants to make sure that the games that he really wants, he can get, and everything else, they have to basically put in more effort to make sure he gets it. Because I guarantee you, Marvel, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, if it's not already on pre-order or whatever it is, the case may be, he certainly has the money already set aside for that. I, that's a given. So he, so what happened then, Phil? Did you give up on Dragon Quest Builders to make sure that you could have Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Is that what the situation is? And now that's why they have to wait a day to watch you play it? Even though you're on a platform that has, oh, I don't know, 
at least anywhere between 20 to 50 other people that are playing it and they can watch it with them day one and come back to you later because let's be honest phil since you're already behind the eight ball you're already going to lose points off day one anyway matter of fact you probably lost points off most of day two matter of fact let's talk about day two did you not come to work on time because you got hung over i'm sorry because you couldn't fall asleep because you were up till 5 a.m were you reading kiwi farms again or were you watching the uh were you watching the video playback of Tevin stream or something come on phil you know you can't do that early in the morning it's not a good thing or were you waiting for cat to get home was she putting in that extra 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 overtime i don't mean to apply any to imply anything phil i'm just asking Clair just trying to clarify what the situation is hmm okay i suppose now <laughs> that's what i feel about the whole the whole new game situation uh, to be honest, because that's just going to, like I said, that's obviously going to play itself out in a very, very bad way very, very soon. Now, uh, just a second. Update for my webmaster. Bam. On Got it. Uh, so the polls, the polls. <laughs> um, let's be honest. He didn't like the games that were coming up on that poll. He didn't like the games that the games or the game that was going to win. So he manipulated the poll. He did the same thing, or he did something similar, I should say. Similar. To when Mario Sunshine was a thing. Same concept. I don't know what was winning. I wasn't keeping any track of it, so I, I don't know. But whatever it was, it was a game that he didn't like. I, if I had to guess, someone on Twitter or uh, someone on um, in his stream chat was like, Hey, uh, I think there might have been some trolls that might have been messing around with this. And then he took that and ran with it because he already didn't like the game that was coming up or games that was winning the polls. So he was like, all he needed was some justification. One person says, hey, the trolls might be manipulating this. And then he runs with it because let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, at the beginning of this whole uh, viewer's choice campaign, he couldn't really get anybody over there on his uh, on his forums to vote or to even make recommendations because he can dox you off that. He can see your IP address, he can see your personal information. So, hence the reason why you shouldn't be over there in any way. Because of that, he couldn't get a lot of people to go over there. So anybody else who did, he's saying that, I think the story is that he, uh, he found someone who voted multiple times from the same IP address, but didn't Phil tell us last year, as well as during the Blood for the Blood God, sorry, the blood for the blood god situation that he has no access to your personal information at all it's just your email but now he's saying he has access to your ips and that he's looking at them because he wants to make sure that no one tries to manipulate the polls now all of a sudden the polls are being manipulated and now he has to make an executive decision on what game that wins but he won't come out and say that he's now saying that the webmaster has to come through and back do basically back fact check to make sure what's legit and what isn't which we don't know what that process is and then he'll tell phil and then phil will make an executive decision on what game wins huh it's funny how every time this whole the viewer's choice type situation or patreon's choice thing comes up it's always funny how the game that's supposed to win never does or very rarely does hmm well i suppose that's a i suppose that's a thing right when you run your own business, the customers ask you to bring something out. You don't want to make it, so you just bring them something else. I guess that's a, a thing. I guess that's what successful businesses do. I, I suppose. What votes are legit and what votes aren't, so that we can proceed with figuring out what game actually is the viewer's choice game and go from there. All right. Um. So I will let you know once once the viewer's choice game is established. Then what I'll do is work with you guys to understand what's the best version of said game so that I can figure out how to get it and, again, how expensive it is. Because if it's a cheap game, great. I could probably play it. If it's a game that's a full $60 release, I don't know if I can afford it. All right? So. Wait, did you did you actually tell them that caveat before you even started the polls? Because if not, then they just wasted their time. Which is what people were saying about this whole situation in the beginning anyway. Is that you were purposely wasting people's time. Now you're proving it. Because if money is a factor, and if there is a updated version of that game is available, that's the only way it seems like you're going to play it. But 
the original is out there, you could play that. And what what was it that uh that caused this whole situation in the first place? This was for subs, right? Well, okay, so if it was for subs, then they you already kind of screwed them out of their money anyway. So they're kind of stuck. So basically, you're at his whim regardless. That sucks. Wow. And what is the sub goal these days anyway? Let's see here. It's five twenty-five. Wow, that's that's sad. Okay. That's kind of the situation, all right? And that's the truth. The truth is that, you know, I wanted to do Dragon Quest Builders Balance with Final Fantasy IX for these four days, and then the next week, a couple days until Marvel Ultimate Alliance came out, and then that was going to be uh, the focus. And then after that, you know, doing those two until Wolfenstein Youngblood, and also I wanted to start the Viewer's Choice playthrough. That's kind of the idea I That's had. a terrible plan. That's all you had? I didn't even know he was still playing Final Fantasy IX. I thought he beat it or he already put it on the back burner. So you were going to ride those two games out until the new games came out. Which is only like another week or so, I guess. But that's all you had. I, I don't know. It sounds to me like a, a business owner who has lost his suppliers and is basically just trying to rely on whatever is in the refrigerator and the freezer until they can carry over. Doesn't sound very good. The rest of this month. But at this point, I can't guarantee you guys that's what it's going to be. What I can guarantee you is this. I'm going to be streaming no matter what. We've got tons of games to stream. It's just a matter of, you know, what I have and what I can play versus what I can spend. You know what I mean? Um, okay. So thank you for being understanding. Thank you to those who, you know. Wait. Now, isn't this the same guy who tells us that he's been doing this for 10 plus years and he knows what he's doing and he understands how the business works and this, that, and the third? <clears throat> Despite the fact that he's sitting here telling you now that he has little to no resources, he has a problem with liquidity, and he doesn't even know what games are going to be good and what isn't. Hmm. Okay. Okay are here to be to, to, to be positive and supportive i appreciate that you know and the only thing that i can say here all right is you can really tell the people who are just really fucked up and corrupt in the head because at a time like this when i'm down right to attack me and or pile on to the already shitty way i'm feeling is pretty much the most fucked up thing you can do. And there's but I don't give a shit about how you feel because you admitted that it's your fault. Did, isn't that what that early pig explaining was about? That it was your fault that you couldn't play the new releases and because you have problems raising funds? You said that was all your fault. How am I piling on to that? I'm just pointing out some of the issues in it as those, as the tractors and critics do, to be honest. So how does that make me an asshole for doing such? Your story doesn't sound right. So someone's going to point it out, as they should. I don't see where the issue is. And more importantly, if you've already accepted, <clears throat> if you're already es established and accepted that it's your fault, then everything else that comes with it is just that. It's no big deal because you've already admitted that the problem, the cause of the problem is you. So why are you even worried about anything else? Those people, you know, I announced on Twitter last night, sadly, I wasn't going to be able to play Dragon Quest today. And here they come, out of the fucking word work, the disgusting fucking slugs of life, to be shitty. It's like, when someone's already down on their luck and down on things going on, now you're going to pile on. You know what I mean? It's one thing if there's someone high and mighty, and then, oh, how the mighty have fallen. Um, I'm not high and mighty. I haven't Wait, been... one, you said that you used to be white hot popular and you used to get attacked all the time, unjustly. You said that. Secondly, you had no problem in doing that to Pro Jared. You didn't have a problem doing that to Dr. Disrespect. You didn't have a problem doing that to Machinima. You didn't have a problem doing that to Blip. So you didn't have a problem doing it to, what, Best Friends Play? Best Friends Playing, whatever. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I just, it's, it's just, it is what it is. I, I don't, I don't follow them, so I don't know. Um, so how many people have he attacked? How many people, when they were down and out, did he wish ill things on? Isn't this the same idiot that right before he left Connecticut, drove to the office of his old job and basically cursed them from the fucking parking lot? 
about how they let him go and this, that, and the third, and he was still butthurt about it, despite the fact that he had already been away from that company for, what, fucking three or four years at that point? But he wants to talk about kicking people when they were down. Wasn't this the same idiot that was celebrating about when celebrating Machinima falling and not caring about the people who lost their jobs there? Didn't he do the same thing for Blip 2 when they allegedly unjustifiably let him go? Hmm. Okay. In, in any kind of a situation to say anything like that for quite some fucking time. All right. Also, I... isn't this the same idiot that exploited Etika for blood money? That was you, right, Phil? You put his name in the title, didn't put a link to the GoFundMe in his in your description box. You made sure your Patreon was there, though. And I don't know if it gets any lower than death, but you you you, you didn't feel a need to do anything about that either, uh, either, right? Especially, Phil, that didn't dude used to do reaction, re reaction content, you know, that fluff, low effort, worthless content that's killing off YouTube. Hmm. Okay. What we'll say is this. All right. I'm not going to let this deter me. I'm not going to let this defeat me. I've been in bad positions before in my life. All right. Um and I you know, I'm going to do my best to get out of this one. I'm really going to work hard and I'm going to stay positive and I'm going to do what I've always do and hope for the best. And how, you gonna, not... how are you going to work hard when you have no resources? And how are you going to say, I'm not going to let this get me down, I'm not going to let this bother me, when, if you're talking about it, it bothers you? That's why you're talking about it. If you have to state, if you have to say out loud, I'm not going to let this break me, I'm not going to let this deter me, then it's already bothering you. Hmm. Okay. All right, champ. All right, the ultimate underdog. Go ahead. Prove me right, buddy. With limited to no resources whatsoever. To where your little 11 year streak basically got bodied, got hit with that Brock Lesnar for no reason. All right, buddy, go ahead, fight that good fight, Phil. Work out, but you know what? Ultimately, I'm I'm hoping that if I stick if you're working hard, you don't need the hope. Just saying. To the course of positivity that I can get out of this sh shitty situation I'm in. Um. And I'm going to do exactly what I've always done. I'm going to let these shitheads of the internet who think that this is a funny time to, to poke on the guy who's already down, right? Kick him when he's down. He's already down and out. Now let's pour a bucket of shit on his head. Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity to motivate myself to hopefully come back from it and keep my head up and for fight through it. And, you know, that's what I mean. Like, being a negative, disgusting person... It won't get you anywhere in life, and I know that now. You know, there was a time... Wait, 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 so you didn't know that 11 years ago when you started off online on YouTube? Oh, you didn't realize that when you were in the FGC talking all that hot shit and people were at your neck? Phil, how many money matches did you make with people and you didn't pay up? Hey, Phil, how many people did you, uh, that did you threaten to beat up and you didn't do it? Just saying. Because I just found a very interesting piece. It was only a snippet. I haven't found the original. Of you talking that hot shit to a guy named Triforce. You remember Triforce, right? He's the leader of... Well, he's the founder of Empire Arcadia. You remember that, right? And uh, you remember how you said you'd put hands to him if he ever talked about you or your best friend ever again, right? You remember that that, that snippet, right? That interesting piece of, a piece of work. But it's funny how... You went to the West Coast and you got pressed by them West Coast dudes and you folded. You folded real fast. You gave them a whole lot of space. Mmm. Uh, I, I don't know, Phil. I'm just, I, I'm just wondering. Just, just throwing it out there for transparency's sake. <laughs> like when I, I didn't know that when I was much younger and immature, and I would be an asshole to people. But you know, I learned. You mean that. in your mid late twenties up to your early thirties? You, you, I mean, I guess it's good that the pig is learning, I guess. That over the years, there's no point in being a disgusting, negative person at all. Um, and I just, I don't understand it. I'm a person who focuses positively on my own content and not shitting on others constantly. Really? PewDiePie, Markiplier, Ninja, 
any of these people that are popular and came out of nowhere and have all this sponsorship and get paid all this money and get all these privileges and no one knows who they are or they all came out of nowhere and what makes them special? What about all those elitist people who get early copies of games and are allowed to stream stream on Twitch or YouTube respectfully four or five days before everybody else who thinks they're better than us and think they're elitist? You had a whole lot to say about them, but you weren't concentrating on your content then. It's funny how he, he does stuff like that, but that's semantics, though. That's, that's just me barking just to hear myself bark, I guess. But, and, I, and I know that there's nothing I can do to stop those people because those people who do that are so fucked up already in their heads that they would get the light out of, you know, oh, my God, someone else is in a bad position. This is great. That's fucked up. I was fucked up. You mean like how you said you quarreled yourself like the fucking Gaudi Viper and you waited three years for Pro Jared? It, realistically, it was actually five years. It was five years that you were actually waiting to get Jared back. But three years since he made that little offhanded tweet and you sat there and laid in wait ever since then. Three whole years you waited. Three whole years, ladies and gentlemen, he was a toxic piece of shit waiting for this one guy to fuck up. And as has been pointed out before, it's not even just him. Who knows how many other people he's waiting for? Shit, for all we know, he might be waiting for Alpha Omega Sin to fucking have a heart attack so he can take shots at him. Hell, he might literally be waiting for fucking Rich from Review Tech USA to go into the hospital so he can take some more shots at him, too. Who could say? God forbid anything happens to Tevin. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. You know what I mean? That's really fucked up. It's an immature, disgusting attitude to have in life. Instead of focusing on, on other people's lives being bad, why don't you focus on making your own life good? But they can't do that, you know? That's just in their heads. They just think that it's it's okay to do nasty shit and, and revel in the nasty... You mean like how you did with the Toby Turner situation? How you reveled in that? Just saying. You just I'm just trying to throw it out there. Just trying to get an idea. Or or what about that whole I just seen thing? You're talking about that situation too? You remember that, right, Phil? Uh, okay, S semantics. Semantics. <laughs> Define sniff. Um, and I certainly have been a target of so many people's just attacks and negativity unfairly over the years. And uh, it's just par for the course for me. So again, I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm just going to try to fight through it and, and keep being positive and put out fun streams. You know, whether it's a new release or not, I'm going to still be here to hopefully entertain you guys and have fun streams with you on a daily basis okay everybody so apologies this happened and apologies that we are we can't play the new game today hopefully things will go positively today and we will be able to, to maybe play it tomorrow if not it's not like there's not other stuff that we can't do right fair enough i feel like i've talked about this enough now okay um i do i feel like i've discussed this enough and we can now move on so <clears throat> Sound good? <laughs> Sound good? I mean, okay, if you're well, going to clown around like that at the end of it, how do you expect anybody to take anything that you've said beforehand seriously? Just saying. If it's supposed to be such a eye-opening situation, if it's supposed to be a, a uh, another milestone in the career of Dark Side Phil... That should be taken very seriously, allegedly, as it pertains to his business and everything. You really think, you really think you're driving your point home by joking about it at the very end like that? Just saying. If it was all about trying to stay positive, then why does this exist? If you're not going to let any of this get you down, if you're not going to let the critics and the detractors get the best of you, why does this exist? If you realize that it's your fault and that it's your own shortcomings and that you weren't working hard enough, which obviously you never really have, hence the reason why you can't. Because, ladies and gentlemen, let's be honest, as it pertains to something like this that's supposed to be important, which is supposed to be his business, the way Dark Side Phil does anything is more often than not how he does everything. It's the reason why failure is a bedfellow that he can never get rid of. I mean, it may... He, he doesn't even have to worry about ever catching an STD. He has failure. What else does he need? With that being said... I mean, why does any of this exist? What point is he trying to prove? Just saying. Just just trying to be realistic. How many adults, how many grown-ass people put their business out here like this? This is thoughtery at its best. And not even good thoughtery. 
Just, just, just thottery. Oh. I almost dropped a... I picked up my phone. And I almost dropped it on my keyboard, which would not have been good. <laughs> By the way, as you guys can see, we got quite a lot of asshole trolls in here today. There's not much we could do here. Uh, there's not much you could do about it. I apologize that there are trolls in here being dicks, right? <laughs> Where are your mods at? Just, just asking. <laughs> I mean, I heard Swaggins is back in the mix now, and I guess he has his mod shit back, which he should. He paid for it. So wh where is he at? Which is funny too, Phil, because I was thinking, right? Because I'm, uh, I, I had a, a nice discussion with Ghostly Winds the other night. Shouts out to Ghostly Winds, or the other morning actually, and uh, we were talking a little bit, and he had said something that made me really want to go back and think. So I went back and looked at all the times that Low Tier God was banned. Or suspended, I should say, before you end up getting banned. And I'm just going to put this out there right now, Phil, that I think when it comes to Low Tier God's final ban, his his indefinite ban, I should say, I think you have something to do with it. But I can't prove it. I, I can't prove it at all. But I, I I feel like I feel like your hoof print is somewhere on there, even if it's in the smallest little way. I feel like you have something to do with that. But anyway, uh, I can't remember if it was Low Tier God's second time being banned. If it was either his, no, nah, his first time, I don't think anybody remembers why the first time he got banned. So it was either the second or the third time he got banned. One of the reasons why he ended up taking the hit is because it was uh, released that he was, that people were paying him to be mods, about 50 bucks or so, allegedly. So with that being said, given that Swaggins had to pay his way to power two, hmm. Eh, it's it's a it's a theory, I guess. It's not a Theo theory because it's not very good, but it's a it's a theory. <laughs> uh, now vote communist in a hundred bit cheer and is basically criticizing me because he's saying, basically, I'm saying that I can't afford sixty dollar games yet. Whenever it's a triple A release, I'm rushing to buy every single one, and then some of them end up becoming duds. Uh, vote communist. I'm not gonna sit here and debate you. The bottom line is I have no idea what's good and what's not anymore because there's so many different games coming out and you're absolutely right that a lot of the AAA releases end up being duds. At the same time, half the time when I skip a release, people yell at me and say, why did you skip it? Um, at this um, point, and you ban them anyway. On top of that, I, I argue that you never knew what was good and what wasn't because he played everything. He It wasn't uncommon for Dark Side Phil to pick up shit five or six new releases in a week. So it's not like he knew what was good back then anyway. It was, he just picked up everything and he played everything. Shouts out to Agent Proper. If I wait for game reviews to come out, people tell me, oh, why did you do that? You know, you're supposed to be the person who plays it on release and judges for himself. And why do you believe game reviews? If I don't wait for game reviews and I rush to buy a game, people yell at me and say, oh, why did you do that? Now you wasted money on a bad game. So it seems like you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. People are just going to basically be dickheads to me no matter what. You mean, but, okay, yet again, why did you then, why is it that you ended up shitting on a practice that you eventually came to depend on anyway? What was the sense of that? And then you get mad when people throw it up in your face, but that's what you did. So what was the point of doing it then? What high cards were you holding at that time that made you think you were above that practice? Only to go back on it. Hence the reason why people call you a hypocrite and the king of suffering and everything else that comes along with it. It's not like people woke up one day and was like, hey, we're going to go after Dark Side Phil because it's something to do. You purposely put the bullseye on your chest. You gave people a reason to go after them. It's not like with the Chris Chan shit where people just exploited a situation for their own amusement. You purposely put yourself in this situation. You have for years. I don't know why it's so hard for you to comprehend that. Kind of used to it at this point. I do my best to try to judge whether or not something's worth playing. And a lot of the times, for example, with games like A Plague Tale, I've waited until people told me it was good and then I tried it and it ended up being incredibly good. In a case like The Sinking City, most people were telling me the wait, game wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
as it pertains to Plague Tale, for one, you and you fucking uh, you literally, you literally, uh, what was the word I'm looking for? You extorted the money out of them, like seven hundred plus dollars, probably more. But you extorted the money out of them. That's the first thing. Second thing is he didn't play the game for what, like the first week it was out. It was at least a week until he actually played it. And by then, it was definitely getting really good praise because it had been around for a very long... Well, not for a very long time, but I guess from a gaming standpoint, a week is a long time. So, he had, there were some advantages that came about that way. And why would you bring that up as an example when people are shitting on you and calling you a thief for stealing those people's money for that game? Knowing damn well you had the money almost from day one. Because there were people already saying, hey... Here's a hundred bucks. Please pick up the game. At least two people did that. And you said, oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. If you guys really want me to play it on this day, someone's going to have to just donate it to me. He didn't even really... Any money that was actually sent to him, he kept it. He wanted someone to send him the game code. And as long as people just kept shelling money to him, he just kept it. So why would you even bring that up as an example? God damn, people are right. You do have the fucking memory of a goldfish. Before it came out... I bought it, and then and it ended up being a stinker. Um, there's not much you could do about that. It happens. That's the nature of the beast when you're a, you're a, a gaming content creator. You got to take chances sometimes, and sometimes they pay off, and sometimes they don't. No, nah, that's not true at all either. Um, the funny thing is, when it comes to games being stinkers and then being successful, is it's really subjective to Phil, and then there's everybody else. Because I saw Rad Brad play that game. I saw Fire, uh, MK Fire Plus Ice play that game. They have hundreds of thousands of views. Phil couldn't get, he couldn't, he couldn't get, you know, 10,000 views. And that's begging the God and the devil himself for it. So who's really at fault here? Is it really the game or is it the person who's playing it? And this whole, uh, this whole scenario that it's the game's fault if the playthrough fails and not the actual gamer is obnoxious at best and just pure ignorance at worst. Just saying. What, what might be a good game to somebody may be a great game to somebody else. That's subjective. But since Phil is working with the same old piglets over and over and over again and, he's too, and he can't draw new people in and if new people are presented to him that's when the paranoia comes into play so he tries to run them off whose fault is it really at the end yet again he keeps talking about he wants organic growth the organic growth that he's actually talking about is he wants more people who are subbed to him on YouTube to come over to his Twitch they're not willing to do that there's no reason to do it to be honest that's what he's talking about. When people, when the bigger streamers host him, he freaks the fuck out. But that's how people get big. <laughs> On Twitch, anyway. So, Phil has all the opportunities in the world to get looks, and he just keeps pissing them away. And the reason why is, the first thing he says when new people show up, especially in bulk, is, here's my financial situation, give me money. Play the goddamn game. And give them time to appreciate it, I guess. And I, I use that term loosely. And decide if they want to give you money or not. Don't say that shit out the gates. That's not what a good hoe do. <laughs> you gotta entice and tease them, bitch. You just don't come out and start talking about your problems. No one goes into the strip club to hear a stripper, bitch. Dance! <laughs> oh! Oh, he's so bad. Horrible. Just, just horrible. Um, you see what I mean? So, that's again. I know this is something different for many of you. You're not used to this. You're used to me being able to afford every release, and now I'm in a situation where I can't. And now you're gonna give me shit. I mean, go right ahead. I guess there's not much I could do about it. But that's life, and I I do my best to try to choose the best releases when I can. Uh, sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't, you know, and I understand there are some people disappointed right now, um, because they wanted to see Dragon Quest Builders 2 and didn't give two shits about Sinking City, and you're like, damn, you really wasted your money on that one, right? I mean, you're right, but there was no way for me to know that. <laughs> okay, so it is what it is. Uh, Frog's playing golf cheer. 
He said, have you ever thought about running a special event to raise funds like those two events you did before you went to Connecticut? Listen. Well, yeah, let's 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 talk about those two events. He made he 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 basically what spent twenty four hours, not even really twenty four hours, but let's just for posterity's sake, two stream two twelve hour streams made twenty four hundred bucks altogether. Mm, seems like a long shot compared to what he was actually going for, so that's not going to be a thing. Uh, if you guys are talking about those uh, fundraiser charity streams that he was doing in the beginning of 2018 until Twitch came and shut that shit down, he's too scared to do that now. Despite the fact that a lot of people on Twitch do it. He could probably get away with doing it now. Because he is a full-blown thought, and that's what thoughts do. He won't do it, though. He's too scared. Same thing, same reason why he won't increase his, uh, his bit rate. He's too scared. So, yeah. Those, that's... Kind of wasted your breath on that one, guy. <laughs> that was that. That was a cheer that wasn't worth using. The matter is, those events, um, as effective as they were, because they were, and they helped me out a ton, especially with my tax issues earlier this year. You um, mean the same tax issues that mommy agreed to pay for? I I'm just throwing it out there. They're only effective when you do them every once in a while. You can't just constantly be doing those fucking events and expect that people are going to care. You know what but I mean? But you did do two of them back to back, yeah? Just, just saying. And that's the case is, no, people are not going to constantly come out, oh, I'm doing a special event today to help out with this financial issue and this, it doesn't, that's not how it works, you know? I really, in that case, that was a situation where I absolutely had to raise as many funds as possible to get past a hurdle or else I was going to be screwed when it came to my federal taxes and there was no way out, okay? Um, and that's why I did it. So, and it, by the way, it helped out tremendously. So again, anyone who helped back then, thank you very much. But that being said, um, if you just do but that. But then, and let's talk about that briefly. And it's not going to be brief. You know how I get down. So, raised up $1,200 well, $2,400 for taxes. Goes, has mommy pay for a vacation. Sorry, mommy and daddy. Has mommy and daddy pay for a vacation for him and Kat to go out to Connecticut. Hotel, rent a car, all expenses, basically all expenses pay, paid plus pocket money and pay for the wedding and gave him and they said that they would agree to pay for his taxes to help him out and in turn he was supposed to get a job within the next <laughs> he was going to get a job in the next decade maybe 15 years so since that's all covered where did the 2400 dollars go i'll tell you where he's going to tell you it went it went to cover the week that he was on vacation keep in mind Mommy and Daddy gave them pocket money when they got there, and more than likely, Mommy and Daddy gave them money when they left, too, on top of all the money that they had already given them. So where did your $2,400 go? <laughs> Defiant sniff. Constantly, it loses its effectiveness. And I feel it would be a massive disrespect to my viewership to just be constantly running event after event after event. You know what I mean? That's just dumb. Okay. I feel like every year that you're online, you, you lose effectiveness, to be honest, which, I don't know, maybe that's just a personal belief. I feel like you're in a decline every year. It's amazing. It's sad, but it's, it's still rather amazing to watch. So, no, I'm not going to be doing another one of those. Um, Dark, oh, here we go. This is a $3, now this is hilarious, a $3 troll tip where I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read the name of the person. I'm not going to give any credit whatsoever, yet they tip me $3 as if there's something effective by doing that. I, what a complete waste of time. Okay, then. Dolan Darker did 111. It didn't matter. You gave it light. And because you gave it light, you gave it life. And people watched. And people who were at, in his chat at the time read it. And I'm sure whoever it was that was restraining him put emphasis on it, too. So what was the point? I'm wondering why I don't declare bankruptcy. Um... Well, if you actually knew anything about bankruptcy, you would know that there's several qualifications and things that you need in order to, to, to qualify for it. Um, I'm nowhere near that right now, okay? Basically, things would have to get even worse, even though they're bad now, things would have to get much worse for me to even qualify. So, you know, that's why. And by the way, what I do behind the scenes financially, you know, is none of anyone's business. Okay, so... That's the best answer I could give you. I couldn't do it. How do you figure? And I say this with a level of, of a level of 
<laughs> with a level of understanding of what he's trying to get at. Here's the thing, Phil. You kind of lose the right to tell people to stay the fuck up out your business when you ask them to give you every fucking dime that they have. I'm just saying. It just kind of... It, it, it's kind of a trade-off. If you're going to keep telling people day in, day out that, oh my God, my taxes, oh my God, my business, oh my God, I don't want to lose my house, oh my God, I want to have this nice life with, for myself and my wife, oh my God, I deserve to have good credit because I've existed for fucking 11 years, like that means a goddamn thing to anybody, and you guys need to help me, you guys need to support me, crowdfunding is the future, this, that, and a third. Don't you think it would be, oh, I don't know, a sense of good faith just to give them an understanding of where their money's going? You know, kind of like Patreon. Oh, that's right. You kind of fucked them on Patreon a couple of times, too. Okay, bad example. My bad, Phil. So, yet again, don't you think it would be just a, a sign of good faith to let them know where your your, mo your their money's going? You don't have to give them all the details on, God forbid, Phil, that you would tell them the truth. But Jesus Christ, you could throw them something. Anything. You expect people... You wanted people to, one, prop up his YouTube business then prop up his lifestyle, then just to prop up his life in general, then take care of your taxes, then save your house. Don't you think they are deserving of some type of explanation outside of the fact that, oh, I know what I'm doing, give me money, mind your own fucking business. It doesn't, it, that doesn't exactly warrant uh, a positive response to help you out. You have to give a little to get a little. <laughs> uh, it's it's a thing. You know what I'm saying? It's a thing. And if you were maybe more transparent with these people, oh, I don't know, two or three years ago, it wouldn't be so problematic for you to get money out of them now. Or for them to be a bit more willing to go ahead and help contribute to you. But here's another problem too, Phil. You beg these people for money day in, day out, going on years going on years and you never seem to get better you never seem to get ahead and more importantly excuse me you never seem to learn your lesson you never seem to get it that hey it's not a matter of curving your spending you need to probably get a complete and utter rehaul when it comes to a budget and you need to be able to stick to it that's what it's kind of coming down to now, let's also throw one more thing out there that's kind of important that Phil don't talk about, or he doesn't talk about it anymore. And there's a reason for this, is him trying to hold out until there's enough money, or sorry, there's enough equity in his home so he can try to refinance. The only way he can do that is by increasing, is uh, each year his income needs to increase. It needs to he needs to show an incline and not a decline. He hasn't talked about that in a couple months now. There's a reason for that. Because if he just keeps basically doing what Phil does and just goes blockheaded, uh, go goes blockhead forward at begging for money and having the uh, the begging if having the begging ramp up, I should say, he would assume that his income will, will rise up too, and then in two or three years he can finally refinance and get himself all out of it. Here's the problem: the amount of debt that Phil has right now compared to what's going to come at him in three years with all the interest and everything else is going to probably outweigh what's going to be left over or at least what he's assuming that's going to be left over. So let me go ahead and throw some quick numbers at you. Let's say that Phil owes, uh, let's try to be reasonable, which is kind of funny and unrealistic with someone who's completely unreasonable. Uh, let's say that Phil owes, I'm just going to shoot in the dark here. He owes $30,000 in debt right now. Now you take the interest, you take the current interest rate that Phil's probably at, which is anywhere between 22.99% and 24.99%. You might you go ahead and multiply that by 36 months, which would well, yeah, 12, yeah, by three years, and then imagine that Phil's going to try to take at least half of whatever he can, or at least as everything that he can get out of his equity. How much money do you think he's really going to have left over? Because what Phil's trying to do, and if Phil, if you're listening, this is what you should try to do anyway if you're really going to do this, is you need to try to pay that condo off. That should be your first thing to try to knock out. Well, realistically, your first thing should probably be your credit cards. But 
it doesn't matter because you're just going to rack your credit cards back up anyway because you're an idiot, just in case you don't know. So what Phil's, let me reward that. So Phil's initial plan is to use that equity money to knock out the condo, then use whatever residuals is left to bounce out the credit cards and then to take a breather for a couple days so him and Kat can go on some type of staycation, probably to California, more than likely to Disney World, spurg out and then come back and show up fresh. That's what I assume is what the plan is. What's really going to end up happening in three or four years, given what the situation is, is if he's smart, he's going to try to knock that condo out. If he's smart, he'll try to do that. The credit cards are going to be a whole nother story. Because Phil only makes the minimum monthly payments and isn't paying over the balance or over the minimum, he's not actually touching the pre uh, the uh, he's not actually touching the principal. He's literally just paying interest. And Phil's an idiot, you see, so he'll continue to do that for the next three or four years. By the time he, by the time it's three or four years show up and it's time to start throwing money at the credit cards, he'll probably owe at least a third of what he owes now. Well, let me word that, actually. <laughs> I would, if I had to guess, he'll owe 30% more than what he owes right now, if not more. It's more than likely it's going to be more, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say at least at the minimum he's going to own 30% more on, of what he owes on his credit cards than he does right now today, if not more, like I said. So if that's really the long con is to just get himself to getting approved for that mortgage, he's going to be really screwed. Or for that, ref, for the, uh, sorry, for borrowing from the equity of his home, refinancing. Uh, he's going to screw himself. He's going to screw himself hard. If that's the case. But that's just an assumption on my part. Same thing with the numbers. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> They're certainly not accurate. I, I, I'd have to know what he owes first before I could come to that conclusion. I wanted to, and it's none of your business if and when I do. <clears throat> okay? Hodor Tar, Charity says, have you seeked any help regarding personal finances? Um, Hodor Tar, I'm going to say this again. <laughs> none of your business. You're not going to be able to help me. I'm not going to give you any information about my personal shit behind the scenes because it's not going to help me to do so. It'll just be used against me. Thanks for cheering. And that's it. Old Glob Trainer did 100 bit Wait, if, he, if it's not going to help you, then why are you asking him for money? That, it seems really condescending for him to say dumb shit like that. I need you guys to give me money so I can make it, so I can make it through the next couple months. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna, I can't give you any information about my finances because you're not going to help me. So then what is, so what's going to happen to all the money that people are giving you now if it's not going to help you? See, that's that whole bottomless pit thing I was talking about earlier. If you're talking about kicking people when they're down, what about all those people on, on Twitter that you, you shit piled on? Well, first of all, I don't do it all the time at all. Um... The few times that I ever have really done stuff like that is because those people shat on me first for no fucking reason, okay? It's as I've said, there's a difference between punching up and punching down. Most of the people who've shat on me punch down onto me. Um, and I don't even know who the fuck they are, nor do I care. Like, for I'll just give you an example. Some of the people that they're actually mentioning here. Pro Jared, Two, Fresh Best Play, two Best Friends Play, Machinima, etc. These are all... Either people or companies that treated me badly, despite the fact that I never did anything negative to them. In okay, fact, first things first. Uh, you've been holding a grudge against Pro Jared for like five plus years since that screw attack con uh, convention. So that's that's a whole other thing in itself. But people keep glossing over that for whatever reason. I don't necessarily know why, but maybe because it's not important. And I'm a spurg, so I'm just gonna pick. I'm gonna keep pointing it out because I'm a spurg. So that is what that is. As it pertains to Machinima, you did fuck up. At Apocalypse wasn't their fault. They didn't know what they were going to do either. And for some reason, this pig in a blanket thought it was a good idea to go ahead and try to make it his way all the way up to... I mean, damn, Phil, I gotta give you a lot of credit. You made it, what, almost up to the president of Machinima? Almost? Something like that. He made he, he definitely almost made it up to an executive before you got slapped down. Now, the thing is, Phil, is you were told, stop contacting, contacting departments about your situation. There was already a department that was working on your situation. You're the dumbass who was like, 
I want to talk to the president or the CEO or Machinima or whatever the case may be, you deserve an answer because this is my livelihood. As if there wasn't other people's livelihoods that were on the line at that time. And what did you do? You kept persisting in the wrong way. You should have just went to, to Twitch, opened that bitch up and got started. But see, you didn't want to do that. Let's talk about that, Phil. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about why you didn't go to Machinima first and you only went there because you had no fucking choice. Just like why you're on Twitch right now, because you have no fucking choice. The reason why you went over there, uh, you went ahead and fucked yourself over here on Twitch, or sorry, on YouTube, is because you didn't want to live stream on Twitch. You wanted nothing to do with the platform. And more importantly, you knew it was going to be more work than what you were doing for YouTube, which it is, to believe it or not. It's, well, I use the term work with Phil loosely, but you know what I mean. You chose this. You chose this. You wanted YouTube. You wanted your security back, and you didn't want to have to do anything else outside of YouTube's ecosystem to do better for yourself. So that's why you kept going at YouTube's neck. Instead of you, excuse me, focusing on the content or just going over there to Twitch and start streaming, you want to keep badgering these people all day. And it came back to bite you. And every time you got, you were given warnings, a lot of them, by the way, he had himself at least half a dozen warnings. He just disregarded it and kept moving. Remember, you remember what you said about that, right, Phil? Oh, you guys are going to just treat me like a child. You know, I'm a grown man. I have a business, and I, I need answers. This, that, and the third. This is my livelihood we're talking about. I'm not just some number. You remember all that, right, Phil? And you remember what they did to you. Because when a bitch get out of pocket, they need some discipline. And that's what happened. They gave you all these chances, all these shots, all this sympathy, and you pissed it right back in their face. And then they dropped your bitch ass. And then you remember what happened after that, right, Phil? You sat there and you waited a couple days and you came out with your dirty white tea and you cried, basically, or at least you had cried before you started the video. And you said, I need your guys' help. Someone get me an MCM, an MCN. You remember all that, right? But these people gave you all the chances in the world to be like, Phil, we're trying to figure out what's going on. We love your content. Or whatever other pig explaining you threw out there, give us some time to figure out what's going on because we don't know. And they didn't, just like a bunch of other MCNs that didn't know. But you demanded an answer, though. You're Dark Side Phil. You're DSP Gaming. You're Phil Brunel. And you walked yourself right out of that, uh, right off that, uh, that MCN. Cause you remember that, right, Phil? If you guys are gonna keep treating me and talk to me like this, I don't want to be with you guys anymore. Okay, bitch. Bye. And they got your ass right up and out of there. You walked yourself out of that. So how is it not your fault? Same thing with the pro Jared situation. Five plus years ago, he, you guys were at a convention. He was the one that caught all the spotlight. You didn't. Your little panel didn't mean shit. No one cared, I guess. And you, you, you were mad about it. And then three years after that was when he threw that backhanded comment on Twitter. Which means shit about shit, to be honest with you. But I didn't do anything wrong. They attacked me first. They punched down on me. Gotcha. Some of those people, I don't even know who the fuck they are, right? When the hell did I ever say something negative about two best friends player Pro Jared, yet they shat on me, so they got their comeuppance? You know, that's different, completely different, than the situation happening to me right now. But again, you need common sense to actually understand that, which you don't have any. So thank you for the 100-bit cheer, and let's move on. Uh, now Dolan Dark... This is why he'll always fail at the end. That right there was the exact reason why he'll always fail at the end. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Until he, he's never going to be able... His... Uh, or how do I word this? Um, His sense of reality is incredibly warped. Obviously, which is funny because, you know, people like myself are supposed to be the brain dead idiots that's out of third. Yet, I don't remember not once blaming some, somebody for something that I didn't do. It's, it's, it's really weird. And especially, it's, <laughs> especially with the people that I grew up with or I came up with, you didn't get checked unless you deserved it. So, I, I don't get... Anyway, whatever. Um, the But, uh, make a long story short, because, oh... 
they did this to me, so I had I was well well in my rights to do it back. Then Phil, when people shit on you on Twitter because you shit it on them on Twitch, and then you run back to your your and then you run to your pre stream and say I don't know why you guys attacked me I didn't do anything wrong instead of third no 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 oh you guys are taking me too serious you guys take everything too seriously you guys are too sensitive this that and the third how does that not make you look like a hypocrite and an asshole and certainly a bitch how is that not a thing it's not about a level of being of a level of understanding and whatnot it's just you are just as petty and pathetic as anybody else who runs around shitting on people for no reason. You're not above that. Very few people are. And when you get confronted with it, you immediately try to justify everything, despite how stupid it sounds. Which it is incredibly stupid, by the way. And then you get mad that no one wants to support you. Because you gotta understand, idiot, the very people that you're talking to, and more importantly, the very people that you're punching down upon right now, you know, with that with that cheer that you guys you just had, are the very people that you're expecting or you're asking to help you. How does that make sense exactly? That's you shitting in your own trough, which you're good at that. Already. Why do you have both a wish list and a Patreon? Because sadly, with my Patreon, there's not much I could do with it. I have some pretty interesting perks for those who want to get, like, personal interactions with me. You mean go to your forums and get doxxed? Why would they do that? And then you said you have some interesting perks to get interactive with, but you don't have an editor anymore. Your words, not mine. So now you can't put anybody on the B-rolls at the end of your... Well, at the end of anything anymore as it pertains to Patreon supporters. So what reason would they have to donate to your Patreon? Sorry, Phil, I, I know, I'm a brain-dead idiot, and I pay too much attention to this shit, and I'm always up in your shit, and this, that, and the third, but, I mean, you're blatantly lying. Just saying. And, as you've also said, because I said it, uh, your Patreon is linked to your YouTube account. And I mean that in, in the fact that he spent so many years plugging Patreon with YouTube that when he decided to make YouTube an archive and turn Twitch into a full-time thing, he basically disregarded it. It's kind of hard to go back now. And if he did, he could. It would require effort, but he could, but he won't. Sounds like another shortcoming on Dark Side Phil's part, but that's just me, though. But outside of that, I can't do much else with my Patreon. Reason being, trolls have already said, well, if Phil ever had exclusive content linked to his Patreon, we'd just sub to his Patreon to then steal that content and put it all over the internet so it would be no incentive for anyone else to do stuff with his Patreon. So, you know, also, I have become more stream-focused in the last two and a half years. Here, he's about to tell you how he fucked himself. I did. It became very hard for me to tie anything to my Patreon, so my Patreon has seen a mass decline in contributions over the last two and a half years as I've become more of a full-time streamer. Therefore, it makes more sense to have an Amazon wishlist that ties to the streams rather than focusing on my Patreon. So there's your honest-to-God answer. Okay, so go. are you going to close down your Patreon? No? Gonna just keep collecting your little four hundred dollars, huh? Okay. Not the four hundred dollars is little, but you know what I mean. So again, <laughs> someone getting up in my shit. Uh, the bottom line is, it's none of your business. Someone begging cheering. for money. People question it. He's calling it getting it in his shit, getting all up in his shit. Makes sense. Really does. All the specifics behind the scenes of your financials to know why you can't afford the game. Fuck off. How about that? <laughs> How about that? How about it's none of your business. I tell you like it is. You can accept it or not. But stop getting up in my shit. How about that? Okay then. Because <clears throat> it's hilarious too. You know, people give me shit. Phil went out yesterday with his wife. I bet he spent a ton of money. Yeah, you want to know what I spent money on? Uh, we spent... We went to, we went to Chick-fil-A... We went to, we went to, think it out first before you say anything. If you, granted, if you're going to take a minute to think of the lie, then people are going to assume it's a lie. But you stumbling like that don't help you either. So just take a, just take a moment, breathe for a minute, Phil. Grab a shot of gin out of your water bottle or out of your DSP mug and then talk. Don't try thinking on the fly. You're not made for it. Chick-fil-A, that's what we ate when we were out. So it was under $20 and then we went grocery shopping. Um, and that's pretty much it. 
you know, Cat uh, had some essential Wait. things. Wait. Why did you go if you're if you're already going out grocery shopping? Then why did you go to Chick Fil A? Are you either one? Are both of you too fucking lazy to make a sandwich when you get home? Or you, she couldn't microwave you a hungry man meal or some shit? I'm just wondering. Just and more importantly than that, Chick Fil A is pretty good too. But why didn't you just get Subway or something? I mean, you know, because you know you're eating a lot healthier now, right, Phil? Looks like you're slowly but surely dying right now. But whatever, you're supposed to be eating healthy, so. You know, maybe it might have been a better choice to just get something from Subway. Maybe. No? Okay. She needed to get for her job that she paid for, and that was it. You know, we basically nickel and dimed it all day for the essentials Wait, that we need. You said that. Sorry, I kind of cut that off a little bit. My, my apologies. So, Kat had to get some essentials for work that she paid for. The fuck does that mean? You guys are married, bitch. Which means that you guys, which means your money is her money and her money is your money. So whatever she spent came out of your joint income and is part of your budget. What the fuck are you talking about? That was her money. She paid for it herself. Bitch, did she, is she paying your taxes too? Is she help contributing to the household? She barely home. Are we breaking it down into percentages exactly how much electricity she uses and how much water and the percentage of food that's coming out of that refrigerator? Are we doing any of those things? Are we factoring in how much gas goes into her car? How are we working this out, Phil? Talking about, oh, she paid for that herself out of her money. It's both, it's it's joint, as far as I'm concerned. It's joint. It's a joint income. If you're filing as married, it's definitely a joint income. So what the hell do you mean by that shit? Someone should have called him on that. So, you know... Again, none of anyone's fucking business, but this is the shit that people make up. Phil went out yesterday and spent several thousand dollars on his day out, and now he can't afford the game for today. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> we'll vote Democrat Chitty says, why are the trolls so hard tonight? I think you know why. I told you, I knew this would be like this, because this is the first time um, ever that, that I've been in a situation like this, you know? So you know this, again... The shitheads love to come out and pile on when you're already down. And there's a difference between if someone shat on you constantly and it's time for comeuppance versus, oh, we just, we always shit on Phil, but now we'll also shit on him again, even, at, you know, extra when he's down and out. But like I said, I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm not going to let this deter me. I'm going to use this as motivation to come back stronger and hopefully be able to get out of the situation. So. Dark and you thought the best way of doing that was telling people to fuck off who are asking you some questions. You, that's, you, you thought that's the best way of coming back stronger in overcoming the situation. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Phil, for the love of God, you better hope that woman's not pregnant because that house is gone. Mark my words, Phil. Consider that shit piggy fucking scripture that if, she, if she's pregnant, you're fucked. You are royally screwed. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Like how Nick Ricada is currently going over the deposition for the Vic Mignogna case. If the, if you decide to fight her in court, I will go out of my motherfucking way to get your deposition shit and get your fucking court uh, your court videos, and I will go over them. I will do that. For the love of everything salty and bacony, I will do it. Think I won't? Try me, bitch. I will do that. I will broadcast your fucking divorce videos all day. I will literally go ahead and have 24 hour streams and I will just have that shit on repeat all day. Just so I can hear you snort on the witness stand. I will do that. Think I won't. Try me. Dalton gave me another $10 and said, are you going to have a baby? No. <laughs> Again, it has nothing to do with that. I don't know why people are getting these crazy ideas. These insane ideas. About a baby and shit like what the fuck are you talking about you know what it is is that people just have to you know because because all right because i don't tell you guys everything anymore right i don't because i have a private life and private things that go on behind the scenes isn't that, part of your private life and your private things should be your finances matter of fact what are the three things that people usually say you should never talk to people about because it's just going to automatically start conflict finances meaning your personal finances phil just in case you don't know 
religion, and politics. Those are three things that you just... It doesn't need to be spoken about, to be honest. Just keep that shit to your fucking self. And yet, you spew all three of those on a regular basis and then get mad that you get slapped about it. But your personal life. I could assume, Phil, just from your finances, that either A, you're lying, which is more likely what it is, or B, you're living like a goddamn bum. That's That pretty much tells me everything, to be honest. It's not, not particularly hard. And then on top of that, I mean, I could just go back and watch your old videos. Or I can go back and watch old detractor content. You can pretty much put it all together after that. It's not exactly hard to figure out what your history is. The new shit is boring. Well, it's not boring. It's dull. It's not boring yet. But it's definitely dull. It's dull. You're old, the, the older stuff is way more fascinating. And is a roadmap to what you do now. Hmm. But, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> affecting me negatively. And I don't tell you every aspect of my life anymore like I used to a couple years ago. Um... People now have to make up insane, crazy, out there theories. Yo, they're having a baby and they don't want to say it and this and that. No. You know, that's all you have to say is no? But what about that crazy theory that you were going to get married and you weren't going to tell anybody and then you got married and you didn't tell anybody? How about that? How about that whole escort situation, which was absolutely fucking hilarious, despite the fact that it was, it, it wasn't a thing. It was certainly an entertaining time, though. But then, you were forced to expose Cat. Hmm. Mr. Oh, I'm living by myself, and it's so hard, and fuck you, war dog leader, and, and, and your situation, and fuck all the rest of you guys. I have to sit here and make my own meals myself now, and I have to learn how to use a washer and dryer, this, that, and a third, and I'm so lonely, and all I have is you guys, and this, that, and a third, and come to find out there's some chick in the background the whole goddamn time, almost. What about that crazy conspiracy theory, Phil? Hmm? What about that other theory? What about that other crazy conspiracy theory? Because now you got me riled up. Not really riled up, but you got me motivated. You got me motivated, Phil. How about that one crazy theory about, guys, I, I have this I have this thing that's really bothering me right now, man. And it's it's I feel it in my gut. And the first time I felt it was when Machinima told me they were going to cut my money. And now, I, this situation here. And people told you it was taxes, it was the IRS. No, it's not taxes, it's not IRS. It was taxes. It, it was taxes. Remember that that crazy conspiracy theory, Phil? Remember that one? You, you, you Try me, bitch. <laughs> I, can, I can do this all day. I can do this all day. Really, I can. If not, I'll tag in like James the Lesser or Agent Proper. It's not, it's not a big thing. I can get them on Discord right now. Or Skype. Or Twitter. Pick your poison. How you want this? Conspiracy theories. <laughs> Conspiracy theories. Oh. Why, why wouldn't I tell you if that were the case? You know what I mean? Why on earth wouldn't I tell you? Um. Just because I'm down on my luck, because of a bunch of shit, doesn't mean that, you know, there's some crazy reason. Um. And by the way, it's none of your business, again, what the reason is. These are just fucked up people who just want to know every aspect of my life. That you have to be in my shit constantly. It's just nuts. But, there you go, guys. Uh, that's it. Oh, here we go. Someone, this is great. Someone literally just said in the stream chat that I have an offshore bank account. <laughs> what? What the fuck? I have an offshore bank account. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I'll be living in the Cayman Islands before you know it. You got me, man. <laughs> you people are so fucking stupid. But you see what I mean? This is what this is how dumb they are and how crazy they are. Phil's having a baby. Phil's got an offshore bank account. Phil's this. Phil's that. Just in, It's insane. And this is what happens when you fill your life with garbage drama and crap. Instead of meaningful stuff. Like you become someone who just needs to fucking obsess over nonsense. Alright? Like pro Jared, right? <laughs> For three years. <laughs> over pro three to five years. Over pro Jared, right? You had to catch him in that Sailor Moon. You had to catch him in, what was that? Sailor... 
Oh, God, which one is it? It's the blue one. Is that Sailor Jupiter? No, nah, Jupiter's green, I think. Fuck. Uh... God damn it, I can't think... I want to say Jupiter, but I can't remember what scale... Sailor Scout fucking <laughs> cosplay Jarrett was in. But, uh, yeah, you, you, you obsessed over that for like three to five years, though. But you were doing such positive things, right, Phil? Such positive things. Matter of fact, if we go with the five-year timeline, because I want to go with that, because really it goes back to that screw screw attack convention. Um, you started going into a major decline five plus years ago, did you not? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, just uh, I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> this is stupid shit. Anyway, <clears throat> enough about that foolishness. Okay. Oh, by the way, it's, all right. Yes, everyone's at. Obviously, everyone's asking. Yes, someone did donate some PSN credits, and it is enough for Dragon Quest. My bad. It was Sailor Mercury. That's the blue one. That's the that's the one that Projer was cosplaying at. Yeah, Jupiter's the uh, Jupiter's the tall one. Eh, you got me. You got me. There's two, so we'll be playing that tomorrow. Okay, that's great. So thank you to the person who did. I don't know if the person wants credit for it or whatever. I'm not going to say anything, but they uh. They do, they you know donated the credits. It's enough on PSN, so we'll be playing Dragon Quest Builders two tomorrow uh, on PlayStation Network. Well, on on PlayStation four. Okay, I will download it overnight. So thank you to everyone for your support. Thanks to this person who donated the codes, etc. <clears throat> Very much appreciate it. And no, it's not not the guy you just banned. It's not you that did it. So <laughs> stop taking credit for it. Fat Mister Bo did a 145 bit cheer and said. A YouTuber I used to watch who quit a year ago did a live streams this week and said working 9 to 5 job he feels free. Unlike he was when he was doing YouTube with a living, he felt like a slave to views. Since you've been doing YouTube and Twitch for over a decade, do you agree with that statement? When I was a full-time YouTuber, yes. Because when I started, everything got views. And then over the years, I basically had to try to find things that would only bring in views because I couldn't play the stuff I wanted to play. I couldn't play a JRPG. I couldn't play an old school retro game. Every time I did that, my viewership would dip. Wait, isn't this the same idiot who told us that he was white hot popular and he could play anything and it got major views? Now he's saying that he he couldn't play what he wanted because they wouldn't get views? But isn't he the same idiot who says he doesn't drop playthroughs because of views? Or interest? Or money? Oh, so many lies. So many lies. And it would mean that I was taking a cut in income just because I was playing something that maybe isn't a mainstream new release. And it was very frustrating for me. Um, these last couple of years that I've become a full-time streamer, it's the complete opposite. It seems like I can play what I want at least some of the time. Certainly I can't, I couldn't just play JRPGs and visual novels and that kind of game constantly with nothing else. There has to be a balance, but as long as I find a nice balance, there is room in my content for the kind of stuff that I like that isn't necessarily mainstream popular. And that's a good thing. So I think being an interactive streamer, the more you enjoy yourself, the more interactive you are with your audience, and the more chill time you have, it can bring in an audience that necessarily wouldn't be watching the YouTube videos of that. You know what I mean? So I think if you're talking full-time YouTuber, I agree with you, Fat Mr. Bo. If you're talking out overall content creator with an interactive audience on Twitch, I disagree with you, okay? Sadly, I've been talking about this recently, and I guess a lot of people... You know, I don't know if they just thought that I was kidding. I don't know. But essentially right now, I'm in the worst financial situation I've ever been in in my entire life. Um, things are incredibly tight to the point where... <laughs> Sorry, I, I just wanted to play the first the, that, that first part of the video again for nostalgia's sake. It, it, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. I'm sorry. It's funny. It's hilarious. It's hilarious that, uh, one, he admits that his past sins are catching up to him while simultaneously still blaming everybody else for his faults. And yet, he thinks anybody gives a damn that you couldn't play the game that you wanted after 11 fucking years. Nobody gives a shit about that. Just a second, ladies and gentlemen, I want to play this. Yeah. All right, so no one cares, Phil, about your 11 year streak. Just like your, your seven or eight month streak in, in Minecraft. No one gives a shit about that either. Especially as hypocritical as you were shitting on people who played Minecraft and made all that money off Minecraft only to go back and suck its dick later. At the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm a little rusty on this, but uh, it was fun. Uh, at the end of the day, 
he's a con man. Let him con, to be honest with you. Uh, I'd like to say that he's coming to the realization, and that's good. You have to accept certain things about yourself to grow. But since Phil has ulterior motives, it's not legitimate. So that's kind of the end of that, to be honest. Um, as time goes on, though, he's going to become more and more desperate. I'll tell you that. And like I said, he can call it a conspiracy theory if he wants. That's my thought. My thought is that I think she's pregnant. I'm not saying that's the that's uh, that's the Lord's gospel, but it, it it seems it seems somewhat consistent. Because what other excuse does he have? Just just asking. Or she's or she's sick. And that's not a good sign either which way, to be honest with you. Or she's getting ready, or she's having complications, which isn't any better. Just saying, you, 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 you know, you're getting $1,100 behind the scenes just from one individual. Who knows how much else he's making. And then on the last couple of streams that were actually successful, he walked away with a few hundred bucks. And all of a sudden, one major bill comes up and wipes all that clean. And on top of that, if he's getting anywhere between seven and $10,000, each month, allegedly, uh, from Twitch, where where's all the money going? And on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, something that he's not telling you guys, where's the YouTube money at? He doesn't even talk about where the YouTube paychecks at, so where's that money at? And then on top of that, ladies and gentlemen, the four hundred dollars and in decline, but the four hundred dollars that he's making off uh, Patreon, where's that money at? Just saying. You're telling me that he doesn't have enough ad, he doesn't have enough revenue streams to keep himself afloat every 30 days? Alright. <laughs> Whatevs. Uh, Whatevs. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening in. I appreciate you uh, hearing me kind of uh, go ahead and go at his neck for a little while. It was fun. Uh, like I said, there are a couple broadcasts that should be coming out uh, hopefully within the week. And that should kind of, that should theoretically run you through until I actually come back. And if not, then there'll be another week that everything goes dark, and then I'll be back after that. Um, and that that should be the plan. Who knows how anything works though? Because one cannot prepare cannot prepare for everything. But uh, hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, hope you guys uh, enjoy yourself out there. Keep supporting your local detractors and whatnot, because without them, uh, Phil is not entertaining. <laughs> So, it, 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 it has uh, in, in a hereditary value, if you think about it. And uh, I'll see you guys when I see you. Take care of yourselves. fair warning to all these bigger you guys who have punched down on me for years you know i know how to bide my time and i'll be keeping an eye on you we'll see what happens <laughs> you know because it's like i said yesterday on the pre-stream i fully expect that this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to these guys that they're basically going to be doing things um that are they're going to get exposed for and the whole thing's going to blow up all over the internet um and when it does when these things blow up all over the internet um you know, it's going to bite them in the butt. And, you know, a lot of these guys, sadly, I hate to say, have insulted me over the years. So don't be surprised if every once in a while when all of a sudden they get exposed for stuff that a tweet comes out for me, you know. But that's going to really be the extent of it, you know. I'm not going to be doing any kind of thing on my, in my content or whatever that has anything to do with it. Uh, I would much rather just play games and have fun and not make it all about that.